Alright, welcome guys. We're outside today for today's power workout. So the whole idea of this is we're going to do it like a chipper style, meaning that we're going to set the reps and the movements in a particular order and we're going to complete them sequentially one after the other and then just get through them and finish them off. If we're going for a bit of power in this and a bit of pace, I want you to be as aggressive as you can with each of the movements. Therefore, I want you to pick the weights accordingly and I'll let you know what I'm using and then you can adjust it from there. So, everything is a simple number of 25, that's it. I'm just gonna go through the order and we're gonna finish this. Let me give you the rundown of what the work it is that I did. Then I'll give you the at home options if you're doing this just at home with a simple thing like a set of dumbbells, kettlebell, or even just a weighted backpack. So, first things first, assault bike behind me. Starting that off, that's our buy-in and our buy-out, meaning that's the first and the last movement we're gonna do and we're gonna hit that for 25 calories. You wanna be sitting at around the 65 to 66 RPM, otherwise you're gonna be on it for a little bit too long. And the idea is that's part of building up the heart rate so when you go into the subsequent ones, it's gonna force you to maybe wanna slow down and take your time. So, but the aim is we're looking for power, therefore we're looking for pushing and pulling on the handles as well as using the legs. So, first one is bike, 25 calories. You're then gonna grab your wall ball, so the nine kilo for the guys, the five kilo for the girls, or 20 pounds and 40 pounds, uh, 14 pounds, so simple. So squat and hit your target. We're looking for an eight foot target. The girls are doing it, we're looking for the 10 footers, the guys. Remember, you've got to get your butt down to your knee level. If you're lacking mobility, at least come down as much as you can. If you need to, come into a bit of a sumo. That will mean you hit your adductors a little bit more. So they mainly focus on the catch in here and here and that's the movement. We're not bringing the ball down, it's just a waste of energy. So again, for 25. So that's that there. Now, we're gonna come on to the dead ball. It's a simple, it's a 10 kilo, we're not going any heavier than that. If you need to go lighter, go to a five kilo, and it's simply an oblique slam, meaning I'm gonna pick it from one slide, and hit it to the floor, pick it up, I'm gonna hit it to the floor. So the whole idea is it's up, it's a full arc, and it's back down, and again, for 25 reps. From there, we're gonna use the barbell. We're coming into the barbell, we're coming into the bent row position. My preference is like what we call a pendlay row, meaning that we're tipped right the way over, and I'm actually going in the overhand or prone position for a prone row, and I'm getting my 25. Now, break it up, set to five, set of 12, set of 13, but again, 25 reps. From that, under the ski erg, like the bike, for 25 calories, and again, we're trying to maintain a steady pace, a steady stroke. We're trying to hit that 1200, 1300 calories per hour burn, so we can actually get off that in a relatively short amount of time. From there, we're gonna come back onto the dead ball, something a bit different. It's simply a high ball toss. So again, all I'm looking for is from the squat position, take the ball, throw it up, let it fall back down, but again, keep your eye on it because it has a tendency to come back towards you. But we're just simply trying to reach and launch this ball as high as possible in a straight line, not an arc over and behind us. And again, we're going for 25. From there, we're gonna come onto the wall ball again. This time we're gonna do a wall ball sit up. We're gonna put our feet up against the wall or somewhere close to it. If you want the added incentive to make it a bit harder, you can do butterfly sit up, put your feet together, but you simply Ball is going to come behind you and you try and hit a target on the wall. So if I lay down, I got my butterfly set up, feet it together, pull my back, touch, and I'm throwing the ball to roughly a four foot target. Now, if you're not hitting that target and be able to catch it back in your hands and move forward, put your feet against the wall, the ball is your feet against the wall, and that's now your anchor point. You should find you should be able to hit it up 45 degrees and it should come back. And again, we're bringing it back behind us with the sit up. Again, 25. Barbell comes next again. This time it's simply from the shoulders, just an overhead or push press, shoulder to overhead, whatever you want to call it. But again, if we're going for a set of 25, if you've got the right weight, you should be able to get that done in one movement, one set. If you need to break it down, get to halfway, get a set of 10, pick it back up go for the final set. And then, as we said, how we start, how we finish, buy in, buy out, back onto the assault bike for a 25 calorie buy out. Now, if you're using the weights that I've got here and you're relatively uh, fit and you're really, really pushing it, this is around about a 20 to a 22 minute workout and you're gonna feel it taxing. 
right? Slow it down if you need to, adjust the weight. Go with an empty barbell. Go with a lighter dead bull. Go with the five kilo wall bull, okay? The assault bike is the assault bike. This is what it is. If you're in the gym and you don't have one of these, and you've got a bike erg, you can go on a bike erg. You can go on a spin bike, but crank up the resistance so it feels like you're having to work. Okay, so at home versions. Let's say we've got nothing here, and all we have is maybe one dumbbell, one kettlebell, and we may well have that backpack with a bag of sand in the back. Okay, so we can still use that too. So in terms of the bike, let's say 25 calories, let's say that takes you a minute and a half if you're going for pace. So again, take that minute and a half, that now becomes your minute and a half on the bike, okay? Instead of the bike, I want you to do shuttle runs for the minute and a half. You could do burpees for a minute and a half. Something that you know is gonna elevate your heart rate and you're going to get into fatigue at about the 30 seconds mark, therefore the remainder of it, you'd have to push yourself, okay? If you don't have the wall ball, again, but you've got the bag, you can do the weighted bag and you can just simply do shoulder presses, okay? You can simply shoulder presses or you can do thrusters, bag and squat, okay? The bag, as far as the dead bull's concerned, again, I can pick it up and I can place it down. I can simply use the handles. And again, I'm not gonna get the full arc of the movement, all right? But I can still do like a high pull and bring the bag up and down and touch it so I'm hitting my obliques. If you don't have the ski, replace the ski, go for a minute, a minute and a half, get some fast skips, same sort of motion. Or again, like we said yesterday, use the band. If you've got a band, anchor it around something so you can simply pull it down and just mimic the motion. But again, you'll get more of a triceps workout if you're stretching through the band, okay? High ball toss, same thing. You can simply get your backpack, you can throw your backpack up, not so high, but so high that you can still catch it and all the way back down. Or alternately, you can do the backpack and you can do kettlebell swings as your alternate for this. Wall ball sit-ups, don't have the ball, that's fine. Just do your sit-ups, get something small, light, grab an old milk container, Put some, put some water in it, two liter, three liter, use that behind your bed, your head, and you're about 50% of the five kilo ball anyway. All right, so that's the workout, it's power, it's designed to be short, sharp, and fast, all up about 20, 22 minutes, it takes you longer, it takes you longer, but go out there and get the workout done.